Today's debate floats around the idea of whether you should take a vaccine or not. But it seems like Chris Rock stands pretty firm when he urges fans to get vaccinated after testing positive for COVID. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will talk about how Chris Rock contracted COVID and how he urges followers to get vaxxed. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Actor, comedian Chris Rock tweeted Sunday that he is COVID-19. Trust me, you don't want this. Get vaccinated, he urged. Rock disclosed earlier this year that he had received the COVID-19 vaccine during a late night guest appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, meaning his current case would be a breakthrough instance of coronavirus. He joked to Fallon, you know, I skipped the line. I didn't care. I used my celebrity, Jimmy, he told Fallon. I was like, step aside, Betty White. Step aside, old people. Kiss my ass. I did pooty tang. Let me on the front of the line. That's the food stamps of vaccines. He joked about the Johnson & Johnson shot. Comparing it to the movie Titanic, he said, I was like Billy Zane on the Titanic. Leo died. Billy Zane lived to see another day. I don't want to be Leo at the bottom of the ocean. Billy Zane got another woman after that. You don't want to be Leo. Well, in real life, you want to be Leo. Prior to that appearance, Rock had sat down with Gail King for a CBS Sunday morning interview in January, where he expressed his excitement for the vaccine. The pair also discussed how several members of the black community expressed apprehension about receiving their doses. I'm gonna put it this way. Do I take Tylenol when I get a headache? Yes, he said, defending the vaccine. Do I know what's in Tylenol? I don't know what's in Tylenol, Gail. I just know my headache's gone. Do I know what's in a Big Mac, Gail? No, I just know it's delicious. King then noted how Rock was taking the COVID-19 pandemic very seriously, as they were sitting outside his home in the winter like human popsicles. This is after an alarming figure of Americans who don't want to be vaccinated came out. According to a new poll, most Americans who haven't been vaccinated against COVID-19 say they are unlikely to get the vaccine and doubt it'll work against the aggressive Delta variant, despite evidence that it does, highlighting the challenges facing public health officials in the face of soaring infections in some states. According to a poll by the Associated Press, NOCR, Center for Public Affairs Research, 35% of American adults who have not yet received a vaccine say they will probably not, and 45% say they will definitely not. Only 3% predict they will certainly get the injections, while another 16% say they will probably get them. Moreover, despite proof that the vaccines give good protection, 64% of unvaccinated Americans have little to no faith that they are effective against variations, including the Delta variant, which officials estimate is responsible for 83% of new cases in the United States. Those who have already been vaccinated, on the other hand, 86% faith that the vaccines will work. That means that there will be more preventable cases, more preventable hospitalizations, and more preventable deaths, said Dr. Amesh Adalja, an infectious disease specialist at Johns Hopkins University. We always knew some proportion of the population would be difficult to persuade, no matter what the data showed. And a lot of people are beyond persuasion, said Adalja. He echoed Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Director Rochelle Walensky in calling the current surge a pandemic of the unvaccinated, because nearly all hospital admissions and deaths have been among those who weren't immunized. Chris Rock isn't the first celebrity to speak up about being vaccinated. Martha Stewart also went to social media to share her vaccine journey. Stewart, for her part, shared a video of herself preparing to get her shot at Mount Sinai downtown in New York via Instagram on January 11th. I am so proud of and grateful to the doctors, nurses and medical staff who are wading through the red tape and confusion of the distribution of these very important vaccines, she wrote at the time. I am excited to have received my dosage and look forward to the booster. The lifestyle guru clapped back at haters who claimed she cut in front of others writing, to allay your concerns that I jumped the line, know that I am in the approved age group for this batch of vaccines and I waited in line with others. Stuart, who is 79, added, here's to the advancement of science and a heartfelt thanks to those working on the vaccines. We are all hoping for an end to this pandemic. Ian McKellen and Joan Collins were among the first celebrities in the United Kingdom to film their vaccination trip. Collins had her injection on the same day as Queen Elizabeth II, and she wrote on Instagram that she was honoured to get it. We want to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of Chris Rock urging fans to get vaccinated? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. 
We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.